Today we need to take the items, the chain and the bottom bracket bearings and cups out of the solvent, put them in this pan with some more solvent, clean them. Then we need to take these items, which are the shifters, the derailleurs and the head tube hardware and put them into the solvent to soak. That's what's happening on this episode of Featherstone Bicycles. So as I said, we're going to take, um, first we're going to take the chain out. Put it in here and pour some solvent in. Probably can put these other pieces in there on the side, make room for putting the new pieces in. This is my um, solution for the poor man's parts washer. Um, gonna just let that derailleur soak in there front derailleur that doesn't need to go in there I'm gonna undo this jazz that doesn't need to go in there just the ball ball bearing cages Cups, washer, get that soaking in there. So, what I'm going to do, start at one end, it's at least going to make it a little bit easier to clean off the grease this way. washed the chain off in some warm water 
get all the solvent out of there and I'm letting it dry off a little before I run it through the wire wheel for the final uh, process. In the meantime, I'm going to start cleaning out the cages of these bottom bracket ball bearings and there is a ton of congealed old grease in here. Not sure. Might have needed to let those soak a little bit longer, but gotta move on, gotta make progress. Yeah, that is really This is like uh, the dental hygienist uh, working on the patient who hasn't been to the dentist in a long time. They were well greased, I can tell you that. I don't know, I think we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to stick these in the solvent for a little bit longer. But in the meantime, Clean up the ball bearings. Which look pretty good. these down
do is put it in our clean bowl. And I've got finish line, one step, cleaner and lubricant. And we're just gonna spray, chain down. Work that in everywhere. Get it out so it's not making any, such a racket. I'm looking at these cable housings. This one is, this section is definitely shot. Um, this small piece is pulling apart here, that's bad. This piece is cracked along here. <clears throat> these two pieces are in relatively good shape, so we're gonna clean those up <clears throat> and see if we can replace those other ones. I'm going to put a little simple green on some steel wool. And just get some of this old grease off of here. Clean up the housing a little bit. This one is a little damaged here, but acceptable. Next up, I'm going to take apart the shifters, which is just this wing nut on the outside. This disc, which I said before, I think is a, it's like a ball shape. I think it's to keep tension on that nut so it doesn't move. And then you've got that little piece, I've got the shifter itself. There's a kind of a fibrous disc. This one is 53 years old and is very, hopefully not brittle, because I don't want to have to source that. I can, but I'd rather not. There, and then that bolt just comes out from the other side. fibrous plastic, whatever they are, discs, a little bit with some very fine steel wool. And I also am touching up the metal pieces that I had on the wire wheel because again, the, the wire wheel does a good job of taking the rust off, but it can also dull the chrome. Um, I think it's because there might be some grease on some parts, certainly from when I had that chain on there. 
didn't get all the grease off and um, it can dull up these parts because of that. So after I use the wire wheel on them, I just rub some fine steel wool over them and it brings the shine of the chrome back. So the way this goes back together, this bolt, which is a carriage bolt, comes through like that. This is sitting on the bike, as so I'm on the bike, it's facing that way. The shifter, the cable stop, or the little piece at the end that fits in to the shifter lever goes in that slot and that faces this way. But first, of course, we have the fiber piece. Put this on. Then this goes, this be the other side. That little slot there goes over that tab. And then what this little piece here does is keep the lever from going farther. And then of course our disc. And then our wing nut. And now we have a friction, a friction shifter. So, same thing on the other side. I can tell by the number of clips that this is going to be a short episode, but i got a few other things to do today, so that's going to wrap it up. Thanks for sticking with me, and I hope to see you next time on Featherstone Bicycles.